supposed to be a slave. Tell him again, Bishop. Nigga, I ain't supposed to be a slave. We found a better way. Now we rocking the side of things. We the money, I don't gotta save. Best in the field, always getting paid. I'm taking the hook for the better days. I'm begging, I got it. Gallery shopping, gallery walking, gallery talking. Gallery talking. Y'all couldn't change up the topic. Only saw visits and texts in the boxes. Couldn't be locked up. Now the studio locked in. Couldn't be out there. Searching for peace in the ride, searching for dripping the fine. Wishing for grips on this quiet, speaking through action. Burning my fingers while burning the ties, the label the faction. Lit is my fashion, we're all over fly shit. Down with a bad bitch, we roast from the ashes. Down for the chases, switching the paces. Blue cheese on the laces, I ran out of patience. Beat boys. Beat boys. Beat boys. Beat boys. Hottest boys on the beat. Bringing you closer to the beat. Bringing you closer to the sound. Just bringing you closer in general. Closer as as we need. Yo, and I know what's on everyone's mind right now. Where have the beat boys been? For real, bro. Where are the beat boys? Where we been, bro? What we been doing? Yo, what you we been, been doing, doing a whole sure? lot and not a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> yo, we just been out yo. Nah, you gotta speak for yourself on that one, bro. I mean, we I said it, working, bro. I said a whole lot and not a whole lot of nothing, bro. We have not been doing a whole lot of a whole lot of th- things. <laughs> a whole lot of moving. A whole lot of moving, a whole lot of action. You already know. A whole lot of action, no drama. Fact. For real. And if it, if it not, but we're back, so don't worry about where we were. Just please be happy don't, that we're please here. Don't. I think I it's think Beat Boys. It's Beat Boys. But what you been beat doing, son? And all that. What what would she call the female Beat Boys? Beat Girl? I mean Beat Girl is like the the basic one, nah, that's what you would beat, say. Beat Girl, nah, nah, nah. Beat Girl. Nah, beat Girls. Beat Girls, I mean it's the innocent one. It's the I don't know. I I think Beat Bitch. Beat Probably. Bitch? <laughs> beat Bitches. No, no, no. <laughs> beat boys beat bitches. Just hashtag beat boys beat bitches. <laughs> no, no, no. We're going to get sued for that one. Yeah, definitely. Nah, what, what's, how, how can we be less. Uh, okay. More feminist. Beat hoes? No. No, that's not. No, bro. That's what? The exact. <laughs> no, no, no. Beat no, no, broads. No. Beat broads is. Okay, now we're getting like close into that non offensive territory. Like beat broads, we're almost there. No, no, no. We can't say beat broads. We can't say beat broads because that's, that's just like. Yo, beat broads, wife beaters, t shirts. That's not our game. Yo, what you got, bro? What's not offensive? I can't think. <laughs> beat babes. Beat babes. Beat babes. Yeah, beat babes. All right, so to all the beat boys and beat babes, we got beat a question boys for and you. Beat babes. What have you been doing in the past three weeks since we were yeah. here? What, what have you been doing? You're sitting on the couch, you're not doing nothing, you're looking at the TV screen. <laughs> And time is passing you by. And what? And you've seen that Monroe, Monroe College commercial a couple times by now. Monroe. It's been three weeks. We know you've seen that shit. Yeah. And you're still sitting on the couch? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That bitch comfortable, though. I mean, it is. Don't get me wrong. That's That's the, the, the couch is the crutch of that, of that not applying to Monroe lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Got to say. But yeah, let's get back to him. What else you been doing, bro? Yo, real talk, son. I've been trying like to not, like, not. I'm not trying to be vegetarian or some shit, bro. But I'm just trying to eat less meat. Just, just chill with that. Yeah, we previously talked about this. You've been on your keto shit. Like, yeah, it's not even like just. I'm just trying not to, you know, chill with the meat. Just veggies and greens. You know, I'm all about the green. Yeah. Got to be green inside to get the green side to get the green outside. Beat boys are fit. We're productive. We're producers that are productive. We produce. We're productive create. producers that are always producing. We're productive. So stay productive, stay fit. You already know. But nah, but what we what, what you got coming on the pipeline? So I know I I know you've been busy, bro. You ain't been responding to my calls, I ain't responding to my texts. Like Yeah, bro. Just, I've been I've been just working, bro. Working and writing, bro. Oh, writing? So we got working we, on some new shit. We got some heat coming out, so Yeah, we got some heat coming out. Yo, BSD. Let them know. Let them know. BSD. Let them know. Our producer mixtape from Gemma Mind Beats. You already know. The one and only. Featuring myself. And the dearly departed. Yeah, the you one, better. The one that Shout can't be here with God, us. Shout out to the God, Young King. Yo. R.I.P. 
Check it out. Yo. Yo. <laughs> nah, you've been up to something else, bro. You've been up to something else. I've seen you, bro. I see you, bro. See me around, bro. I've been everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Everywhere and nowhere. Nah, but BSD really, though, is, is, is really going to be an improvement on what we introduced first with Bankrupt. Do it all. All the singles you've heard previously were just going better and stronger. Like it's the introduction to the playground, to really what we, to what, to what this is. You know? Preach. You know what I mean? That's a fact. You're gonna hear a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. You might hear. You might. It might come out sooner than you think. Real soon. Not that soon. Not that soon. No. Not that. Soon. <laughs> but sooner than you think. Let's yeah, just say bro. that. But you know, we, we maybe you know. Next week you might hear a little piece. You might hear a little something. Yeah, we got we got something coming. I don't know. We, don't can, know. we can give them something. For sure. Blood, sweat, and do say. Blood, That's sweat, what and it drink. Stands for. Blood, sweat, and drink. <laughs> BSD. Yo, BSD, yo, coming out soon. And if you follow us on the gram, what's your gram again? O U U Bishop. That's where you could find me. That's O Bishop. Ooh, Bishop. And that's find me at number ten. Push-ups. 10 push-ups. 10P. Push-ups did 10. Bishop push-ups did a lot. At least 10. <laughs> but yeah. Yo. It's, it's more, it's deeper than just, you know, Monroe. Oh, you know? <laughs> Hold what happened, what happened, what happened, man? Nah. Oh no 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 no. That's that's priorities right there. Yo. You gotta have no nah, no nah, the beard on no, the you beard comb, out, bro. I picked out, bro. I know you can't tell because the headphones on it, you know. But I picked out. All right. But yo, nah, the beard comb is priority, and your afro pick is top priority. Always got a comb. Remember that. I'm a waver though. Yo, priorities. I just combed out my way, so you can't really see them. But we spin. We spin. Producers are productive. Remember that. But producers are productive only if they got that priority straight. What's that priority you're talking about? Yo. You sitting on the couch. Smoking a whack ass blunt. All your nah, friends nah, nah, are working. Nah, nah. We, Hold up. Uh, uh, we I'm smoke gas. Some, we smoke gas. Okay. Them, not Let's us. give them that. Let's give yeah, them okay, that. They fine. smoke gas. Fine. It's been three weeks. So you finally got some gas to smoke while you're sitting on your couch. But you found that gas. But did you apply to Monroe yet? Mm. Did you? Mm. For real though. Like, are you sending out? Are you sending out what you need to say? Are you getting on top of your stuff, bro? Are you are you making sure your priorities is in order and sending out that mail? Send out that mail for real though. Like, and not send first out that class. Mail. Not first class. Not second class. Priority mail. Priority mail. What's priority mail, bro? Yo. In essence, you could say it's like what you need to get your shit prepared. Hurry me is a lot of things, but right now, let's just say it's what you need to get prepared. Like if you trying to okay. make beats, right? Yeah. And you don't even know what software you want to use. You don't even have a keyboard yet. Not even a touchpad. Are you on your priority? How are you gonna send? Are you, up? Did you even did you even get your priority mail? Did you? Are you sending it, bro? Like, what do you, what is what is your top priorities, man? If you're an artist, then you don't got no paper or pencils or colors. You're trying to get in. Like, are you really on your priority? Are you on your priority? Ask yourself that. Right now, we'll give you some time. All right. Are you answered. You should know. You, you should know right I was away. I to do the, the <laughs> Jeopardy beat. <laughs> you should know right away Yo, if we you're need about to remake that Jeopardy beat. No lie. No lie. That ass. <laughs> That eyes like that. <laughs> the baby would go crazy on that. You gonna yeah. hear that on his next mixtape. That eyes or Young Guaranteed. Thug. <laughs> you know, young. I fuck with Young Thug, bro. I fuck with the beats he gets on. I like. Yeah. I like. I like, I like, I like the, he rocks with cool producers, yo. <laughs> He rocks with good producers. Yo, I can say I was, that. I've been listening to a lot of Young Thug, new shit, just fun, mannequin challenge. That's about to be big. Mm -hmm. I believe it. Yeah. Hold up, I actually, like, what is the mannequin challenge? 
That's the song or that's a Yeah, it's a song on oh, his okay, new okay. album. I thought you were yeah. saying it was some shit people were doing. I was like, Oh no, no, no. I was like, yo, what's the mannequin? <laughs> <laughs> they do that already. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck happened to your tooth, my nigga? <laughs> oh, we getting personal. I don't even want to talk about it, B boys and B babes. But now nah, you gotta, you gotta let the people know. Let the people know. Yo, just know the truth is in the tooth. And if you find my tooth, you will find the truth. <laughs> Yo, you going to check your, you going to check under your pillow for the tooth fairy. You're going to find a big mailbox. But if you're trying to really... Yo, you better put an envelope under that fucking pillow. Please. Just, pillow. Yeah. Please. Because the Tooth Fairy is prime shipping. <laughs> Priority mail. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, bro. Nah, but, but like, what would, but what would be to you getting that priority mail? Like, 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 like what, what shit does, like, a rapper need to be like, all right, I'm on my priority? What shit does a rapper need? Well, like, anyone just making music in general. I would say... Uh, at least, at least some form of understanding of what you're gonna do. Like you need an expert that did it. Mm. So you need to follow. You need to follow someone who's creative. You don't have to know them personally, but you study after them, and you understand what they're doing. Your role model, and then sooner or later you'll get into your own. Mm. Also, mm, I fuck. Actually, I fuck. With I that. think. I think also you just need you need a good manager. You need a good manager. Like you could rap anywhere, really. Like it don't matter. You could rap on the train, the subway. You could rap on the bus. And people do that. On the floor. <laughs> people like, do that. You could go anywhere, like for real. <laughs> really, yo. So studio time, that's not really necessary until you have like foundation. Mm, what's like a foundation? Like what would you say is like would be like a foundational piece? Professional studio. Wasting your money on that. Yeah. But like, what's was, a good what foundation? Like, like, is it the like, is it getting your lyrics on point, or is it just confident? Like, a good foundation is when you actually know how to rap. <laughs> like, yeah, like you, 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 you could you, rap something. Yeah, you you could get rap on a beat. Something. You're not trying. You don't to, have to have yeah. bars, but you could rap. You sound good. Mm. That's it. Just sound good. Like music's music. It sounds good. It's good. That's the one rule of music. That's a fact, and you're gonna need that. Cause you could, yeah, yeah, you gotta be ready to perform like even before you're ready to perform. Like in your mind, you gotta be that yeah. already. Cause yeah. you can't send out that application if you don't got the, <laughs> you don't got the resume. <laughs> mailbox. Yeah, getting yeah. Priority about mail. The mailbox. Priority mail. You already know. But why is this like? I right, but as producers, as creatives, as writers, mm-hmm. whatever, there's always that one thing that's stopping us. And we touched on it before. It's that procrastination. That procrastination. That procrastination is a bitch. (laughs) And will pull you in. I'm not going to lie. Myself. You included. (laughs) We're we're pretty good at that. (laughs) I'd say we're we're some of the best in the business. Professional procrastinators. Producers are productive, but they also procrastinate productively. That's a fact. Productively. So. But, But. Yo, you just you just made me think about something because you said yeah. something before about following your mental, following like a thing, like your inspiration. Because everybody, you you have to get into art, the art somehow. You know you what do. I mean? You everybody do. has a favorite, whether they tell you they do or not. Like yeah. Every artist has their favorite. Every rapper has their favorite. But it's like get into that priority is like that's a lot of time to do that to develop that mm. that voice, that thing. That's a lot of time. That's that hours. is a lot of time. That's mad practice. But then again. <laughs> Are you willing to put in that time? Are you willing to finish that application? Priority mail. Yeah. And priority mail ain't cheap. No mail is. You got to pay to send something out. You got to post that stamp. Mm-hmm. Lick that stamp, you know? But to segue into that, let's get into the you want, Let's get into the top five. Top five what? From top five things that's stopping you from sending out that priority mail. From taking that first step. To send in that application. What a f- the top the top five things for me really that I would say for a producer for specifically. A producer, yeah. for, let's go for, well, producer specific. You got no you got no equipment <laughs> like you got no bread to to get all the shit that you need to sound good, but 
You need now. You do need a little bit of that financial need, freedom, bro. You just need not that financial freedom. Not all the way freedom, but you just you need you need at least expendable income. You need something to. You need to invest into your craft. Yeah, because this equipment shit ain't is the first, the first, first thing that should be on your mind. True, and you know way more than me that that producer equipment is not cheap. Like even. <laughs> well, I know some producers getting some crack plugins, but I mean, yo, B boys doesn't know. support <laughs> crime. B boys are productive, though. Yeah, everything has to be illegal. I mean, legal. <laughs> you know, yo, I'm so bad at I'm so bad at lying that I can't even. <laughs> he said, can't you know, <laughs> <laughs> that went got them though. They understood. Yeah, they understood it. They understood. Beat boys and beat babes, please. Priority mail. Get on your priority. Get on your priority. Send that application. Send it, please. Get on your. Pri- what's stopping you? I'll tell you what's stopping you. Number we already know. Number equipment. four. <laughs> we have equipment. That's number two. Number equipment. What's number? What's number two? This is what we on. Number two. Equipment. I mean, equipment is important to any. Yeah. Like you can't be produced without that equipment. Like I said before, I'd say number two is a efficient role model. Someone. Not even, not no. even a role model. Competition. I, you need some competition. <laughs> you need someone to be like, oh, yeah, heard. I'm definitely gonna go and do this. And levels the competition. You. Levels the competition. You. you need niggas on your level, close to your level, below you, and you gotta look at things above you and high and all those old things too. Because then that's all your competition, really. What, what do they say? What do they say about competition? It's the sincerest form of um, acknowledgement of skill. <laughs> I didn't hear that's what they said. I've never heard that in my <laughs> life, but you know. <laughs> I fuck with that. Know. That's enough. I now nah, but what's so, so what's number four? Three. Well, now what's four when we break it down? This what do you need? What, what's stopping a producer from sending out that priority mail? Stop. What else? Number four, like we hmm. well, sorry, two, my bad. Number two. It's a lack of that guidance, would you say? To bust to bring that down? Like whether that be Yeah, number somebody, two would be number three would be that role model. Not because guidance can mean both. Your, 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 yeah. your, your competition could be your guidance. I would say more often than not, people are influenced by the other people doing what they're doing. Ones that are productive, at least. Okay. Not, reg- not everyday yeah, that average. That just now general. reminded me, what you just said, that just now reminded me of number four. Mm. You know what number four is? What's number four? Support. Nah, because then the role model is the support, no? No. <laughs> 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 Go on. <laughs> Role models are nothing like you. They're not gonna support you. <laughs> That's why they're a role model. So they just inspire you. They inspire you. It's a, yeah, it's a you role. need to, <laughs> support could be positive and negative, like <laughs> constructive con- constructive criticism. I'd say that's that's support because you being real enough to let someone know your shit is trash, and that's better. Than someone lying to you, and that support you need. That support you need to take it to the next level. There's another word for that because now it's good. I get what you're saying. Like you yeah. need to be, you need to put your shit out there and get and be. You need you can't be soft it's if necessary, you're trying to send that priority bro. mail. A lot of motherfuckers is not sending that mail because they're scared. Fear mm-hmm. is a big is a big reason why they're not sending they out might, that priority. They might be the first person in their family to. To do that, like. even bigger, it might be the first person in the town. Yeah. Cause you know, we from New York, so it's different. <laughs> like, yo, you just yeah. everyone's Wherever here. Wherever you from, beat boys and beat babes. We support you, please. Wherever. Priority mail. Yeah. So, what you were saying about the freaking support? Yeah, support. That's number four. No, nah, cause then the, wait. So number one is. Number one would be. <laughs> now, really, what's number one? Oh, um, this the, it will stop things stopping you from going to priority mail. That's number one is equipment. Equipment. How could we forget equipment? Number two. That's a. Number two that's is competition. Competition, but number number, number two number two is guidance then. Number three was role model. Number three was role model. That's the guidance right there. And number four. Know, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I was number saying competition. Four was guidance. support. Four support and what's. Four support. And number bro? five. What's number five, bro? Four got to be. A, this is one is up to you, bro. Number I'll five, bro. Stopping a, produce, stopping a producer from sending out that priority mail. Dang, so I think I said, well, fear, bro, but not better, but it's bigger than fear. It's bigger than that. 
What is it then? Yo, some niggas. This is probably the number one, top reason, number five. Why? Some people, a lot of people, don't even know about Monroe College. <laughs> For real. Yo, that'd be it. That'd be it. A lot, y'all. They just be like you're yo. sitting on your couch. No, you never even got to the couch. You were in your bed. Yeah. You went outside. <laughs> You walked your dog. You nah, never you're not even, even in the house. Yeah. <laughs> you're not even in the house. Not in the house. Yo, you know, I don't know where you get, at, but you're get not. Get back inside. Yeah. Watch TV, please. Please. <laughs> Start watching TV. Get inside. Dude, watch TV. Watch the watch the commercials. Like some people just don't know that they don't know. So they don't know that yeah. they, 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 they either don't know. And that's deeper than that. That either means yeah, yeah. they don't think they're good enough. Cause deeper, like if you don't know, if you if you don't if you if you got the sauce or the juice or something, you don't know it because it's never been acknowledged. Like that's, that's 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 another, that's another thing of not knowing. You don't know about Monroe yeah. College. Yeah, some people are not privileged to have the the. Oh no, that's a whole different that. Yeah, that's different. opportunities to even that's to even six, go then. to Monroe College. That's a fact. Because like, there's people holding you back. Yeah. There's really people holding you back, like. Yeah, not everyone has the has the has like, the luxury of going. It's crazy. To it's crazy. Like situations, like or sending out that priority, man. For real. I, if you could boil all these five things down to one thing, what is the one thing stopping our viewers, you lovely beat boys and beat and beat babes, beat from babes. sending out that priority mail? Number one thing. What would be the number one thing? <sighs> what does that sum up? To boil down the top. Never mind. Nah, but I'd say doubt. Doubt. All boys. I say doubt. That's what it all boils down to. And tell the lovely people why they shouldn't doubt themselves. Never doubt yourself. Doubt is. Doubt is uh, credit. <laughs> doubt is credit. Doubt, doubt is, credit. is the opposite of credit. Like you ain't get your credit, you doubt in yourself. Yeah. What, what 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 is what is credit, bro? Credit, men. Credit in terms of this. Credit for Monroe College. Your credits, bro. Your credits, your classes, yo. Your classes, your hours. <sighs> Man, that means the you, hours you put in. Yeah, bro. you're not you're not getting out there. You're not going to class. You're not. Passing and failing, because remember, there's mad. There's a lot of classes in Monroe. Not all of those you're gonna pass your first time. Obviously not. Sometimes you gotta take it again the next semester. Yeah, you do. But what what does that entail? That entails you have to put in more time, work harder, study harder, with your craft, to pass your tests you and graduate need, mm-hmm. from Monroe College. So you need to right? practice, and that's practice. what I would say. The number one doubt. And practice, like I want to practice. Yeah, because practice is the mental currency to pay for Monroe College. I see what you're saying with practice, but this is why I say doubt, though, because doubt is in listening all that you doubt yourself, you don't get equipment, you doubt yourself, you won't be able to have a role model, you won't be able to soar past your role model. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't have no. You wouldn't guidance. Even have one. Yeah. You wouldn't have no support. Because you doubt in yourself, it don't even matter. All the all that doubt is going to do is fight against your credit, your mental currency. And that's all we get with Monroe College. And I say it has to be that. I say practice. Doubt is definitely part. I say my number one is practice because without the practice, you won't pass Monroe College. Fact. You can't not study. You got to study. <laughs> you can't not study. It don't work like that. <laughs> Tests come in multiple ways, but exactly beat boys and beat babes were productive. Yeah, but that's <laughs> practice. Fill out your application and send out that priority mail. Send it out. It's a priority. Get your priorities together and just send them out. Don't if, wait, please. <laughs> if not for yourself, <laughs> not for yourself. <laughs> if not for, for yourself, not for me though. <laughs> if not for yourself, at least for me. For him, for push-ups. For push-ups. Push-ups did ten. At least 10. At least 10. Twice. Help him out. Help him out. At least 10 twice today. 10 and a half. 10.5p. Yeah. 
Nah, but like getting to your priority, yo, there's also not just that, you know, you gotta also, it's not just what mail you're sending out. Mm -hmm. It's what mail is coming in. What's your, what would you say your priority mail is, bro? My priority I, I think it's gonna mail. be the same thing for you and me right now. Well, because I'm an assologist, <laughs> some of you may not know, um, it's a it's a higher form of feminism. It's post feminism. Post feminism. Definitely definitely in some ways. But I just wanna I just wanna graduate the mental currency of ass. I don't care if it's a fat ass, a skinny ass, slim ass. We need we, we need to we need to upgrade our currency. And that's what you're trying to send out Assology. to the world? That's what you're sending out to the world? That's, I fuck that's, with my, that. that's my end goal in life. That's that priority mail you're sending yeah. out? Yeah. I fuck with that. Yeah. It's focused. It's, it's prime. I know. What yeah. about the mail that comes in, though? What's that priority? The mail that comes in, obviously, I have to eat. I can't starve, so. <laughs> Assology. That's all I can say. It's the bread. Stay, stay woke. <laughs> the bread, yo. That's the priority, man. The bread comes in. You have to get on your priority. If that's not the in income, bro, income that mail, if you're really on your priority, or if you're sending out the right priority, you should be getting back the right priority. That's a fact. Let's change the world. Beat boys and beat girls. One mailbox at a time. Feel me? Send your shit out. Send that application. Make it a priority. Nah, but let's, 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 let's be serious here. Let's be serious. Bro. That's serious for real, enough. Like, there's really people stopping you from, from signing up. It's not just yourself. Like, I think, yeah. It's, it's not, not just, just yourself. yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You it's know, not yourself. Stop, don't put all the burden on you. Yo, who, who could, who could, who's really being stopped? Like, let's, let's really be empathetic with the people who's being stopped from getting there. For a quick second. They should. Yo, if you're being stopped by some way financially, or otherwise from sending out that priority mail. Have hope that one day. One day what? You'll be able to send that mail. Hold on. Make better make, nah, make, fuck make, that. make more. Hope's not enough. <laughs> I know hope ain't enough sometimes. I mean that's all I can say, because I don't Doubt. Shoot. Doubt that's a motherfucker. Yeah. Doubt is a motherfucker. But I mean like motherfuckers that and, really can't And we all gonna doubt ourselves regardless. But You know what? We got to put in our credit. We, we got to put that. in our practice. Yeah. Yeah. But we could flip that into something a little more positive. About the, right. whole, about the whole people that can't. I mean, this is not going to be positive, actually, because not everyone has the luxury of going to Monroe College or having a Monroe College in front of them. Like, that's not everyone's life. So if you do have a Monroe College, you got to get on your fucking priority. Why are you playing around? <laughs> fuck playing around. You in college? Yeah. What the fuck you doing? I mean, not everyone's fortunate. Enough. We forget that, man. I think I think I forget that too, bro. That not everyone's yeah, fortunate. Yeah, we all forget enough. that. You know. We all forget that. Because you be in the class. But how you be else? Are you, how else are you gonna graduate? Not that I feel you, but you know you forget because you in class, you at work, you have work and class, and you're just like, yo, you're mad tired, paying bills, and so you forget that, yo, this is a luxury to go to Monroe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like everything. We take it for granted, <laughs> but we from New York, like yeah. New York is a whole city that takes it everything for granted. Yo, yeah. we bitch about the trains, we bitch about everything. Beat boys and beat babes. People stay productive. Send out that priority mail. That priority mail is everything. It's the only thing. If you don't got your priorities in that envelope, then what you doing? Yeah. Cause like, at what level are you? Are you like, we, you a Monroe College dropout, soon to be, or Monroe College graduate? Alum, these. Or maybe you're part of the thirty percentile. I don't know. Yeah, that never that that <laughs> never even have to worry about that. Yeah. I mean, there are people like that too. Yeah. That don't even. So, it's all about that because it is college. And there's a time and place for everything at college. Mm-hmm. Monroe College. <laughs> nah, but there's but, but there's, there's people getting their priorities together. I got like two stories. 
that kind of reflect what we're talking about. Two new, well, Word. one's a new story and one's a one's something I showed you earlier, a little bit, and a little ad. You oh, the ad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But these I two let dudes. Let the people know. These two dudes, mm-hmm. maybe more dudes from London, stole a golden toilet. <laughs> Like that's that hunger, cause one that shit was in a museum. So you gotta like, there's multiple levels to this heist. Like these guys got their shit in order. Word. Pun intended. Yo, like they really broke into this whole fucking museum. Yeah. Stole the toilet, like got it out unplugged, but then they got caught. How they got caught? Bro, the boys caught them coming out the crib. <laughs> like it's a fucking golden toilet. It's mad fucking heavy. Like what? Twenty four K shitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like they, they did not plan everything out together. <laughs> They just see, and that's the thing. When you send out your application, make sure your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted. Stay in your P's and your Q's. Because mm-hmm. yeah. you might end up with a with holding a forty five pound toilet with twenty four k shitter. Twenty four k shitter with three dudes that can't carry it, waiting for the boys to come pick you up. Basically, <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's some crazy shit. It's pun intended. <laughs> Yeah, what's that second story though? Yo, that ad, bro, that ad that we uh that I showed you that we showed you the day the Santander. Santander. Yo, the ba- a Yo. bank a bank that I forget that I have all the time. I, I, I always you, forget I about my I cracked my shit, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Yo, don't say that on the end. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I was, a bank that I often forget that I have just hit a, hit me with the old D Instagram commercial like today. I show, I'm pretty sure some of the beat boys and beat babes saw this. But did you know this is how the ad went? This is the first words I saw. And I didn't even put the sound on. I just saw that. And I'm like, what the fuck? Did you did know? Did you know the most dangerous place for a woman? A female. A beat babe. Is her own home. And it was like, like what? What? Like that sentence first, like just, just the, everything just makes you look at it, and then the video starts playing, and I wasn't watching the sound on. I I didn't, I didn't know that there was words and the thing. I was just watching yeah. this lady get in her car, bro, take all her shit, look at her wallet, look at it. And I'm like, Phew. she goes, she looks mad tense and stuff. It's like mad. They're cutting to mad different scenes, and then oh. she just gets out the car, and I was just like, what the fuck? Like yo. Yeah. But then I got it. You know, I put the sound on. I watched it again. And I was like, oh, she's having a whole monologue about like, yo, what am I going to do with the, the car? I have nothing under my name. I have nothing. Da, da, da. I have, I don't have that. Like, she doesn't have any money in the bank. She has no accounts attached to only her. Damn. She, she got no money. She wasn't on that priority mail. She had no priority mail. She had nothing coming in, bro. To be fair, to be fair, there was a there was someone holding her back. Exactly. Would you, I'm trying to lead this back to what you were saying. Yeah. Like, there was somebody holding her back, bro. Like, if some people just get, yeah, I was like, yeah. And that shit is scary. Like, beat beat boys, beat babes. We're productive. We don't we don't hit women. Hashtag beat boys don't beat babes. And women, please don't hit us. Yes. Hashtag we're also productive. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but think about that as an advert. Like, isn't that kind of like, that's kind of strong. Like, yeah. to even run that. Yeah, that that's that's a little. Like, come to our bank so your so your Spicy. abusive husband doesn't have the upper hand when you, Santan, when you want to leave. Santander. Fuck, like, that's deep. Why when, are we laughing at this shit? Yo, cause, cause it just feels like yo, yo, man, it just feels like somebody said that idea, bro, and like one of the top execs was like, "What the fuck? No, that's mad dumb." And everyone else was like, "What are you talking about? That's mad. Like, that's a great ad. What do you mean?" You know what? We gotta hit the women's. That's the one right there. <laughs> this guy's like, nah, this ain't the way to hit the women's. We're, nah, we gotta hit the women's. <laughs> and they say, yo, let's push this shit out. <laughs> we gotta hit the women's. We gotta hit the women. <laughs> okay, Larry. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, that was a great pitch. Yo, I, I, it must have been, because I could just been. imagine, bro. If I was if I was recording that commercial right now, I would be like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, while you were saying that, I was having a cramp on my left leg. Mm-mm. Dirt. Dirt. Yo, beat boys and beat babes. If this is anything we want you to I got to stay productive. 
Stretch. <laughs> Stretch. Damn. Nah, but we valid now. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, that ad was really crazy. Like, that shit really hit me. It just hit me, bro. That shit just like, Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make me want to reopen my Santander account or anything like that, but I was just like, yo, these motherfuckers are going hard. <laughs> they going super hard. <laughs> That was a great pitch, Larry. Thank you. Larry. Always coming up with crazy ideas. <laughs> but yeah, what else could be holding people back? Like that gets you thinking. Like there's so many situations that everybody goes through in life, and life is not the easiest thing in the world, but it could be. It could be. For it some could people. be at, for it could be if you make it sometimes. Like it's did like it's not just like but sometimes it's most of the time it's really bread. What I was saying, like the biggest thing is doubt. Because what could that's, do? Yeah, that's what's holding you back, and that's what's letting them hold you back, right? So, ladies, pee babes, drive that fucking car away. Drive the boat. You'll get that bread. Drive. Don't that worry, boat, ladies. Drive please. that car. Dip. Dip. Take the risk. Don't have doubt. You're going, yo, everything's going to be fine. If fun. not, you could take the train also. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, nothing's wrong with taking the train. Yeah. It's faster but anyways. To get travel. into the deeper point, the deeper thing of what you're saying, like, yo, sometimes if something's holding you back, mm -hmm. sometimes you have to rip it out. Rip that shit out. Rip that shit out, bro. And, like, you might come out damaged, but at least you won't be held back. At least you sent your priority mail. Yeah, at least you got that's, on your that's shit. That's the first part. Yeah, <laughs> like... For Definitely. Real. Yeah. Now, what you think? Let's go on a tangent here. Like, what you think could be like the craziest shit? Like Holy holding man. a nigga back, a female back, holding anyone back, whoever. a beat boy, whoever. a beat boy, beat babes. It's the craziest shit that could be holding somebody back, man. And like, like, either you think you're getting hunted by the CIA, or you actually are getting hunted by the CIA. <laughs> Like, yo, if you're on the wrong, so Edward aliens? Snowden is being held. <laughs> he can't. He can't become a producer. He can't. Who's, become, who's Edward S Snowden? You know, homeboy. Um, homeboy that uh, he fled the country after he released documents that uh, the that our government was like flying invisible planes and bombing shit oh, in other countries shit. and shit. For real? Yeah, it, it, that and a bunch of other stuff. But like that, we were doing. He just he was like a whistleblower. He just went like, let everyone know what's up. Yo. And then they hunted that motherfucker. He went to Russia. Well, first he went mad at the places, but he ended up in Russia. Yeah. And he's like in some weird ass. I'm, yo, I am butchering this story, OD. But he's in Russia somewhere, in a fucking in a fucking room with no light on, snowed or, in. a lamp, something. He snowed in. He snowed in. But yeah, like he's his whistleblower snowed in, dude. Snowed in. He can't become a producer right now in America. He can't. No, he can't. Yeah, he, like that's just actually held him clipped. back. Sorry. Super clipped. Yeah, he does. Them boys warned you. Mm -hmm. He does interviews, right? He does interviews sometimes, and they like they record him, and he's always in some dark ass room. You're like, yo, what the? Fuck? Where is this dude? Hi, this is Andrew. <laughs> no, but thank you, man. Snowden, I suppose. Snowden. I mean, yo, what what you think? Like these whistleblowers and all that stuff. Like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm kind of happy we have invisible planes, because now that means we're one step closer to invisible clothes. But the but they're gonna give that shit to like the military first. Well, one warfare. step closer. Cloaking. One step closer. <laughs> Invi Yo. <laughs> Invisible. You ever heard that song, Invisible? Invisible. Yeah. It's this weird, creepy song, bro. Like, no. it was popping, but it was just like the chorus, right? It was like a shitty ass two thousands like pop rock shit, alternative rock shit or whatever. And the lyrics was like, if I were invisible, I would watch you in your room. And it was just like supposed to be sweet. And that shit ain't sweet at all. Like if I was invisible, I'm not. I'm not doing some dumb shit. No, no. That was a song, bro. It's a pop song. I was song. just trying to see how much money we could get. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was thinking invincible. Oh. I'm invincible. <laughs> that's crazy, though. That's, that's crazy. Invisible Indeed. love songs. But as I said, producers beat boys, beat girls, excuse me, beat babes. We're productive. Producers are productive and always be. 
And the first part of being productive is getting your priorities in order. Sending out that priority mail. Exactly. And then starting classes at Monroe College. Monroe University. Monroe University at this point. It's not a two year, it's not a four year. It's whatever you want it to be. Sign up. Sign up today. But yo, don't we have a beat of the day? Let's get to beat of the day. What's the beat of the day? Where's my phone at? (laughs) I don't have my jack either. Oh, good luck. Hey, it's shit. All right, so what's the beat? This beat is another one from Gemma Beats, our producer at Mailbox Money Records. The boy, the in-house producer. The gem. Gemma Mind Beats. That means I'll stay with the heat. <laughs> now, where can you follow Gemma Mind Beats at? At G-E-M-I-M-I. N D B E A T Z. It's Gemma Mind Beats. Gem I Mind and Beats. At follow. We just released something new. Just got something new on Spotify. Sounds great. That was actually another song I played. Let's. Let's look for it. He said as he looks for the as email. he looks for the beat. Let's get let's get into it. You know, if you are looking for guidance in prior in, in where to start with your priority mail, follow us on Instagram and ask us questions like, "What the fuck are you guys talking about?" Which probably most people are going to ask. And we'll explain to you once again. You can ask us. Some technical difficulties. Ask us, where do you start? Damn, why why all the beats are just reference tracks? I'm looking for that shit. As we try to find for the beat, you know? We want you to find the beat. In your heart and in your soul. The world goes to the beat of many drums. And you got to find your rhythm. Your BPM. Your tempo. All that. And get your shit in order. Get your priorities ready. Producers are productive. (laughs) And producers procrastinate. But. He got us with this one.
A boy Gemma Mind beats on the Gemma beat. Gemma mind beats. Gemma mind beats on the beat. Beat boy is always on the beat. And you know what Gemma time it is for? You know brought the heat. <laughs> brought the heat. And beat boys brought the beat to the street. To you. But. What? My good friend. Yeah. You know what it's time for? What? A little bit of SSP. SSP. What's SSP, bro? Shameless self promotion. Shameless self promotion. We let's gotta get tell to our them what bag. we've been on, bro. Just a little more. Let's a talk a little. Bit yeah, more. let's tell them a little more. Then we're gonna wrap nah, up. I'm not gonna lie. Joe we're gonna Mind wrap just up. now told me he's doing that Jeopardy beat. Oh, the Jeopardy <laughs> beat. Look Jeopardy forward to beat. that. That's gonna be released as ASAP. Yeah. Nah, but you but you've been working on a on a on a on a, on some heat with our boy, the Dearly Departed. Dearly Departed. BSD. BSD. Blood, sweat, and drink. Blood, sweat, and drink. But tell them. What is BSD? This is BSD. Bishop 98, baby. Yay, better. <laughs> you already know. Gemma Mind Beats. It's just the introduction it's to the, the mayhem. Yeah. It's the introduction to the mailbox. Lyrical warfare. like. It's the it's, producer with the rap. It's all in-house. Everything is in-house. Everything in-house. Introduction. Like... Sending out that priority. I wish we could give you a snippet, but honestly. Ooh, we will, though. Honestly. Soon, sooner than you think it's coming out. Just Stay productive. Yeah. More productive. Besides that, man, we've been up to a lot right now. We've been working with a lot of new artists. A lot of new artists. We got some singers. We got some more rappers. Yeah. yeah. We got some people we're going to put you on to soon. Soon. Yeah. They may even, Mailbox. They may even pop up. Like, we really... We've just been spending a lot of time the with the MBM family. Yeah. To be honest, it's just been a lot of family time, a lot of dinners, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of turning, a lot up. of meals, a lot of turn ups, a lot of turning down, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things. That's a fact. We got and our girl We want to introduce you to our mailbox. So, if anything, hit us up. O Bishop. O U U Bishop. <laughs> yeah. That's a B I S H O P for those who can't spell. And also, number ten. That's not. Oh, you see something, bro? I've, I've, I've been what? networking, and when I tell people that my shit is number ten push-ups, <laughs> people just they, they write out number ten, like oh, it's at number ten push-up. No, it's number ten. No, nah, you 10. just gotta let them know ten push-ups. 10 yeah. P. No, because everyone puts the T E N. Like ah, I can't find you. Yeah, then, Where then. are you? One zero. <laughs> one zero push-ups. It's one zero. <laughs> Yeah, but we we got we got. Nah, give him your shit. We got some. We it's it's one zero push ups, and you know how to spell push ups, so I'm not gonna spell it for you. And it's push ups with an S. Gemma Mind Beats, our producer. And I said that already, man. Do I have to say it again for them? Let them know. It's Gem I Mind Beats with a Z. G E M I M I N D Beats. B E A T Z on all platforms, on all YouTube, platforms. yeah. I think Apple he, Music, I think. I could have sworn on Spotify he just released something. Right. Again, listen to again on Spotify, again and again <laughs> and again. Okay, we'll listen to again on Spotify. The Daily Departed, please. <sighs> the Daily Departed, our been, mailbox family. He's he's coming back soon. He will resurrect for three days. Yeah, he better. Literally, he's gonna come to the, coming back for really, his birthday. Every, every time he comes on back, his birthday, yo. he is coming back on his birthday. Actually, <laughs> on his birthday, it's BSD mailbox. Yeah, you better give him his at. That's yay. That's Veta bands. Well, I was, to, I was about to disrespect. Oh no! Nah. Disrespect the bro real nah, quick. Not, Can't not do that. Party. It's Veta bands. That's V E T T A B A N D Z. Veta Bands At Veta Bands Follow the bro He's got a lot of stuff Already coming know. out And you know he's more than just a rapper He's also a He's a He's a big contribution to the Mailbox family yeah. Also one third Of the Mailbox Money Records Also one third LLC He's also one third of He's the missing link in this In this thing we call the Mailbox <laughs> No, but he's also yeah. a Spanish. He's also a singer, and he sings songs in Spanish. And he's actually got some fire shit coming out. I've heard fire it. Fire shit. Stay on the lookout. He yo. rap too. Don't for, don't get it twisted. You yeah, got the bars. Yeah, we're finna. We're finna. We all got bars. We're finna end twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen, right? Well, BSD. Twenty eighteen. 
Oh, <laughs> my nigga. 2019, 2020, Q4. Let's end it off right. Mailbox family, stay productive. Stay productive. Beat boys, beat babes. Stay on beat. <laughs> <laughs> no, and but, yeah. And that's that. No, nah, but there's one thing I just want to close into. Right. But that priority mail. We're going to close in on this. The one thing that we want you to take home is sending out the mail, getting it in. But sending it out, we already talked about that. But when it comes to receiving that priority mail, you got to know you have mail. So please. You've. Please. You've got, got mail. Mail. Can you just give your mailbox some attention? Let them know. Check your mailbox. Please. Please. please check your mailbox. Check your mailbox. Check your mailbox. For real. <laughs> this is to all the beat boys and beat girls out there. Check your mailbox. You may have something in there. Good looks. You may have something there waiting for you. You may not. But send out and then just keep checking. Check your mailbox. Beat boys, beat, bo- beat boys, beat babes. Stay on the beat. Back to the beat. Ba 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 beat boys. Beat boys. How does boys, boys on the beat? <laughs> Bringing you closer to the beat. Closer to the street. <laughs>